Okay. Okay, seeing that the top is not completely square, it's 30 inches and 30 inches, but the middle part is like 30 and a half. Now the length of it is 49 and some parts are 49 and a half, but I'm using half inch insulation board and on the side is going to be one inch insulation board. So the difference between that little half inch that's going to be kind of breathable room, the sidewall boards are going to fill that up so nothing's going to get through and then we're going to tape that seam. All right, now here's the half inch board we're going to use for the ceiling. So we got to figure out this right here is going to be cut where I'm looking at it. Okay, so it's 30 inches by 49 inches this way so i'm going to do mark it a couple marks of 49 inches off the back of this and then draw a straight line from there so uh, 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 i have tucked around how i use this hand all right this is 49 inches just past four feet 49 inches come down some 49 inches Come down some, 49 inches, come down some, well, that might be able to be it, because you got to go 30 inches this way, this is going to be 30 inches, nope, got to go down some more, because this is 30 inches this way, that's 30 inches right there, and I'm going to have to go 30 inches and get the yardstick and draw the line, okay, so... I'm gonna have to come down a little bit more for 49 inches because you want it to be able to cross. You want it to cross. This is 30 inches, so you want it to intersect. I don't got a T, so I normally just use whatever straight piece of metal that I have in the house. All right, that's 49 inches marked, and then we're gonna go 30 inches all the way across this way. Jack of all trades, master of not knowing where I put my goddamn snap line at, my chalk line. I'm going to mark it just with a straight edge where I measured all the 30 inches and then across where I measured all the 49 inches. This is just a piece of board that I had downstairs. No idea where I put my chalk line at. So I'm going to measure this, this, then I'll start cutting. Alright, let's see how this is going to work. This is my trusty marine knife that my son got for me it's uh, it works really good on a uh, foam board i mean awesome on foam board I'm trying to think if i should go down first or to the side first i'm gonna go to the side first all right i'm just gonna push it in and score it probably about three times look at it it went all the way through already itself probably shouldn't be using this arm but this is only one inch board this is about an eighth of the way in right now. And this is just a regular knife. I shouldn't say a regular knife. My son always finds the places that sell the sharpest dang knives. See how much it went in? That's amazing. Now one more score should get me all the way through. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do this one right here, come down. Oh, this is only a half inch board. I forgot about that, man. I probably scored the board behind it too, right? I forgot, this is only a half inch board. Man, not how you being able to use my right hand really sucks. See, now that's all the way through the board right there. But it, it'll probably be two scores where I don't have to be uh, really hard on it, but that's almost all the way through the board right there. I keep going crooked with my thing left hand. Now that one is, it'll probably take three scores because that one's almost all the way through right there. I think if I put enough pressure, I can get that one all the way through. That's all the way through already. Now that's just me being stubborn trying to get through on two scores. So 
All right, boys and girls, never pull a knife towards you. You don't see me doing that. That's through all the way. All right, so that was three scores with the regular knife, and it went all the way through that. I'm gonna score this one, then I'll put it on the ceiling. All right, there you go. You can't even tell. It's up there, but it is up there. But like I said, if you go up closer, there's a little bit of gaps right in there. A little bit of gaps. But the, the older board I'm putting up is one inch board. So these gaps right here kind of don't matter. They're on the inside of the wall, but I still am going to tape it closed right there. I'll tape the whole perimeter just closed. But this wall and this wall are not going to have insulation board. Just that wall and that wall right there. So that wall, actually, the gap is smaller. But that's not glued up yet. That's just sitting there with the way I cut it. It was real cut really good. So I'm going to take it back down, put some daps of foam board caulk on the back, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine little daps, and then push it up to hold it to the ceiling. Then I'm going to start measuring the from this right there to up there, and then put the half inch right there. There's a trick with a caulk gun if you didn't know this. See that little circle, that little hole on the back of it? I don't know if I can do it with this hand. You put your caulk gun at whatever angle you need or however much you want and you squeeze it and it cuts off the tip for you. This little pico underneath here is to break the seal on the inside of the caulk thingy. See, I just taught you something right there. Okay, now this is foam board. Take the board down how you know you're gonna put it back up. You know, I already got it sectioned in so I know how it's gonna go. Okay, so I know that this is the back corner over here. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do a lot. This is the back corner right here. I'm just gonna put little beads where I can push it up against and it's gonna hold, but I can take it down at some point and then I have a mess all over the place. So I'm just putting six little beads. And then I gotta angle it back up into position and go from there. Now, when you're done using it, pull this back or else it'll keep coming out. Now I'm going to walk this back up the ladder and keep it the same way I have. I know how I got to go up without trying to get that damn glue on anything else. Believe it or not, this damn thing was stuck up. I had to use a goddamn, uh, what the hell was that? Uh, like just a flathead screwdriver to get it down. So this is going all the way back up. And as I push it up on it, you can feel the cold air coming down from the ceiling. And I'm holding it in place for about 30 seconds. So this uh good adhere. You want it to hear as good as, god dang it, I got caught in my cast. Doctor's gonna know I was messing around. Okay, you want it to hear as best as possible, but don't forget, I said half inch, but it's gonna be the uh, one inch board on the back and the side, so that's gonna hold it up. And then you're gonna put an L-shaped tape on this side, so that'll hold it up also. What I'm gonna seam them together with is clear duct tape, is what I'm gonna seam them together with. There's foil tape or whatever, but this will hold it together really good. It worked really good in the basement. And get the duct tape, the really good brand, because if you get the cheap dollar store brand, it just keeps ripping down the rip middle, ripping down the middle. This right here holds really good and comes out as one solid sheet. The ceiling is done already. I don't know if you can see me, I go down here. The ceiling is done. So now what I gotta do is measure from the wood right here, get the square from the wood, all the way to the top. Now, I'm, there's a decorative trim on the inside that goes in a little bit. So I'm gonna do the measurement from the actual wall, not the decorative trim, and then I'll cut around this little space that I need to bump out. Now I gotta pull these nails, but I'm measuring from the top of this board right here to just doing this square right here. Actually, I'll probably do the back. The back will be easier. I measure to the top of the board, all the way to the back, and we're gonna do the back first. But this is basically just measuring and cutting, measuring and cutting, measuring and cutting. So like I did the ceiling, that's what I'm going to do from here up and from here down, all right?